The sacred stones that defeated the Demon King radiate a constant and dazzling light. The sacred stones are the only power against the dark, the last hope of humanity. It is only natural that evil would seek to destroy the sacred stones. There could be no other force behind this attempt to gain the stones. A childhood friend appears before Ephraim. Chapter 17, River of Regrets. Two years ago. How do you intend to use the sacred stone, Leon? Do you really think you can tap into its power? Hmm. My research isn't complete yet, but there's no mistaking the power the sacred stones contain. And the Stone of Grotto seems especially responsive to my dark magic. I suppose it's because it contains both sacred and demonic properties. Regardless, if I can just press my studies a little harder... Well, I think I might be able to use it to heal my father's illness. If that works, there's no telling how many other people I can help as well. Do you think this is wise? The power contained within the stones is beyond our understanding. My father tells me that the stones possess a power not to be trifled with. Uh-huh. Father McGregor is also against it. That's why they still won't give me direct access to the Stone of Grotto. For the time being, I've made do with the radiant energy surrounding it. They're nothing compared to the raw power of the stone itself, but... If I could show Father McGregor some real progress, perhaps one day... Use the sacred stones to study magic. Ephraim, Erica, what do you two think? Using the power of the sacred stones in this way... You don't think it's a very good idea, do you? It's just I know nothing of all, um, at all, of magic. I would there were some way I could help you, but I simply can't. But, Leon, I've seen how hard you've worked to help others. I know how much you want the power to make others happy. I know these things, and because I know you, I trust your intentions. Ephraim, if you hope to use the power of the Sacred Stone for good, I trust you can. I'm behind you all the way. I agree with Ephraim entirely. You spend every night in the library studying cures for your father's illness. The power of the Sacred Stones is too powerful for it to be used for personal gain. But you, Leon, I think you'll be fine. You're the kindest person I know. Thanks, both of you. Hearing those words from you means a lot to me. Actually, and this hasn't been made public yet, but I've already saved someone using the knowledge I've gleaned so far. You have? Uh-huh. A while back, a fire, a fire ravaged Seraphew and a little girl got trapped in the flames. Her burns were terrible. Not even healing staves were able to cure her injuries. But just a sliver of the stone's power restored her life and healed her wounds. We saved that girl's life, Ephraim. Oh, if you could have seen the tears of joy in her mother's eyes. You really did it, huh? You're special, Leon. Congratulations! Well, thanks. But there's still so much more to be done. I'm happy, though. To be honest, I just want to be able to help people. I want to put the ancient magics to use for the common good. That's how I feel. Leon. And as my research moves forward, I'll be able to do much more, too. We have only the barest understanding of how dark magic operates. Maybe we could use it not only to heal wounds, but also to stop diseases. 
What if we can read the future, predict disasters, move mountains? Hold on, Leon. You can't take too much on yourself all at once. What good is helping people if you sacrifice yourself to do it? Oh, yes. Of course. Sorry, I got a little carried away. You have a soft heart, Leon. I bet you haven't taken any real time off at all. So, this is what we're gonna do. Today, we're going into the city. And you're going with us, Leon. What? But, Ephraim, you've got a history report due. We're taking the day off. Come on, let's go. But, but Ephraim, it's just one day, and I won't tell anyone. Won't it be fun for the three of us to spend a day in the city? Ephraim, Erica, thanks so much. I'm lucky to have the two of you as friends. We have the Stone of Rhenus. The final sacred stone is in Rostin. Larishel, can you tell us anything about the Stone of Rostin? Naturally! As Rostin's very own princess, I know a thing or two about our stone! The palace reliquy currently houses our sacred stone. Follow me, I'll take you there. <coughs> I sent the Freelian army ahead before us. They should be en route to Rostin. If we hurry, we could join up with them at the banks of the Narubu River. Do not falter! Show them the might of Freela! Nice crit, but it wasn't enough. Oh, got crit. That's a shame. And that definitely is not in the general's favor. We should know that. <laughs> Typically low defense. Lady Serene, the enemy is headed this way. Are you serious? Grotto's been defeated and still they fight on? And they're tough. You friendly and fools have been wiped out by those guys. Oh no, no, we're finished as well. Well, you may just, you know, be thrown into the river. Jeez, how mean. You friendly and fools. They're trying to protect you, ungrateful old man. Everyone, please remain calm. If you panic and flee, the enemy will simply surround you. If you remain here and don't move, I promise to protect you all. Lady Serene. Brother, look there! A skirmish. Is that Serene? What's going on? We must go to a raid. Everyone hold! Something evil is afoot. Leon? Erica? Ephraim? Leon, where have you been uh, all this? Erica, stop! Brother? Leon? We met recently in Grotto Keep, right? Do you remember what you told me then? Of course I remember. What of it? You. I can repeat it for you now if you would like. The ruin of Rhenus, the murder of your father. It was all my doing. I, Leon, Prince of Grotto, made it happen. Leon? You lie! That can't be! Don't be fooled, Erica. Keep your guard up. That's not Leon. What amusing things come babbling out of your mouth. You always thought of Leon as kind, gentle, and weak, didn't you? Admit it. No! Leon, Erica, and I were friends! 
There were things we kept to ourselves, of course, but we shared so much. And no matter what happened, no matter how much time passed, we're still friends. Leon would never betray us. Not in a million years. You're not Leon. I see. So I have no reason to continue hiding my true identity, do I? None. You are correct. This body no longer belongs to your young Leon. I devoured his pathetic heart ages ago. You monster! Who are you? Do you really not know me? What a poorly educated prince. Think about it. Remember the legends of your pitiful kind. What was sealed within the stone of Grotto? What is the name of terror? No! It can't be! It says we feared after all! That can only be! The great adversary of antiquity. The Demon King. That's right. You know to fear my name. Prince Leon was a weakling. Now he is dead. That can't be. Prince Ephraim of Rhinus, you hold the sacred stone. Give it to me. I have no wish to see a warrior die a pitiful death beneath my feet. Bend your knee. If you pledge service to me, I may yet let you live. Do you take me for a fool? You've made your choice, have you? A poor choice. But it does afford me a chance to show you something special. A force no human flesh can withstand. A horror beyond words. A power that will place this sad world under my dominion. I am the Demon King. Behold my might. I did my best with the gravelly voice there. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Chapter 17. Now that we got that, let me know in the comments. I know I'm not the best voice actor. I know I'm not even a good voice actor. Like uh, Lanny Pretor from Team Four Star, for example, who I highly respect. I think he's a fantastic voice actor. Um, he, do he does a really good job. And I try. I try really hard, though. I have no formal training or anything like that. Just experience and always trying to get better. So hopefully it will suffice. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's check the map. There is a vendor here. Thunder, Elfire, Shine, Divine, Flux, Nosferatu is the special thing here. Heal, Mend, Restore, Elixir, Pure Water, and Antitoxin. You can also buy Elixirs here, but you probably have enough Elixirs. Um, if you want Nosferatu Tomes, here they are. They weigh a ton. 14. Have 10 Might, 70, H 70 Hit, which is low per usual. But the cool thing about Nosferatu is whatever damage you do, you get back. Or is it half? I always forget because it depends. I think in this one, however much damage you do, you get back. So, yay Nosferatu. Everything else you could have found in Jehenna Keep at that shop. So, other than Nosferatu, nothing really special there. Have a couple of forts here that reinforcements will show up from eventually, so be careful there. You have heroes. They are packing silver weapons. This one has a Brave Axe that we want. <laughs> he drops this Brave Axe. We want this. Can strike consecutively. Brave weapons are some of the strongest weapons in Fire Emblem. 
because what brave weapons do is you strike twice. If you would normally strike twice because of speed difference, you strike four times. Brave axes basically double your attack, or brave weapons basically double your attacks. Usually they're balanced. Actually, they're not very balanced at all, but they try to balance them out a little bit by either having really high weight or lower hit percentages. That way you don't hit as much. Uh, the might is at 10, which where is Ross? Not really that much stronger than an Iron Axe. It's just the fact you're swinging twice. Maybe four times if you're fast enough and you can overcome the weight. What is your con now? 13. See, uh, Ross gets weighed down by three with it. But even if you are weighed down, you still get to strike twice. Regardless. And then if you would normally strike twice, you strike four times. Uh, brave weapons are awesome. I love brave weapons. Um, you typically don't get many. But here is the brave axe. We want it. The others have silver weapons. Now, their stats aren't great. But the silver weapon definitely makes them dangerous. It gives them a decent hit. They won't be weighed down by it. And... 13 might. May get weighed down by the Silver Axe. Yeah, by one. But it gives them a lot of attack power, so be careful. There's that. Uh, we'll get to the civilians here in a little bit. These are really, really the big things here is what goes on on this island. Over here, you have mages that are going to, that are going to break down the snag and head over this way. Take care of them quickly. This one has a guiding ring for you in case you have some other magic users you want to promote and an elf fire tome will get weighed down quite a bit by it so not going to double you um but will wreak havoc on the villagers so you need to get there fast elf fire tome here higher level mages level 17 anyway and there's a sage here with the flim uh, i always forget how to pronounce it from both from from both i always forget <laughs> Basically, it's an ice tome, and it's super cool. No pun intended. <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> Weight 12. It is uh, even heavier than a Elfire tome. 1 to 2 range. 13 might and 80 hit. So while it is a bit heavier, It's it gives quite a bit of attack power, and it's just awesome looking. Uh, I love the way it looks. Um... 20 uses only is the A rank animatome. We can get one here. We're going to grab that. There's a swordmaster here with the killing edge. We know this makes it immediately dangerous. Try to get rid of the swordmaster from range. Don't give him a chance to hit. Only 18 attack. Not a lot of strength with it. If somebody has over 18 defense, you'll be okay. Can't even damage you even if it crits. Other than that, be careful, take care of it from a range. Three druids here. Two with lunatomes. This one has Nosferatu. Um, not enough magic to be worrisome. What is worrisome is our boss. We'll get to him in a bit. We gotta go over to the other side of the map. All the Wervid Riders you could want. <laughs> Slim Lances... A couple of javelin, uh, one javelin, excuse me, a steel lance, and there is a Werven Lord with a silver lance. Obviously, the Werven Lord is the most dangerous, but overall, they aren't too dangerous, except that they can fly and get over here quickly. <laughs> there is a Berserker here, who you want to take care of sooner than later, because as we know, Berserkers are an upgrade from Pirate, and can walk on water. We're going to be sending basically Ross over this way across the river to take care of these heroes. We're going to do that. But there's a Berserker here. It has a Dragon Shield to steal. I want it. I really want it, so we're going to steal that. And also has a Battle Axe. So really low hit percentage. But, because it's a Berserker, it has a good chance to crit, don't get crit. We're going to steal the... How much speed do you have? Not enough, I'm sure. Yeah, seven. Um, we're going to steal with Renak. Who's still holding a whole bunch of stuff. Um, steal the Dragon Shield. We're going to try to, anyway. 
That will be the most dangerous thing here, pretty much. That or one of the uh, NPCs dying. Steel axes, a couple of paladins with silver lances, which does give them some punch. So again, be careful. A couple of Valkyries with lightning tomes. They have 12 magic attack. You know, not bad. And that one has 11. <laughs> uh, we definitely know which Valkyrie is better. This? She is using a stronger tome. Not by much, though. Compared to this. Also this. They couldn't damage her if they tried. Speaking of damaging Larishel, here is Leon. Prince Grotto, the Darkstone is slowly corrupting his body. He is a necromancer, master of the Darkstone, who uses dark magic to command corpses. He is his own special class. Um, necromancer is not a class that you can get normally. Um, not even through the Shaman. There's a Druid, and then there's... I don't think they're called Necromancers. I think they're called Summoners. Right? They may be Necromancers. Anyway, here's Leon. He has 22 magic, 19 resistance, 17 defense. Not enough speed or skill... Well, not enough speed to double you. He has 7 con. He has a Fenrir Tome, which weighs 18 doubling you he is not <laughs> he also has Nosferatu though to uh, break out and try to get some HP back Fenrir gives him an attack a magic attack power remember hits res of 37 he's not doubling you hit of 70 he has okay skill at 13 it's that he gets one swing and he swings really hard which is typical of the shaman type classes that use dark magic they're typically weighed down so much by their tomes that they're not doubling you but they typically get really good magic typically get really good magic and dark tomes hit really hard so he has one hit of 37 yeah that's even hurting larishel <laughs> At 13. Takes almost half of Larishel's hit points away. But, speaking of Larishel, before I go over the rest of the map, you see she's carrying something. She's carrying a body ring. Why? Because Shine weighs 8, and she has a constitution of 6. Oh look, she no longer has a speed penalty from Shine Tomes. Isn't that awesome? If you think I'm done with Larishel, I'm not. She only has 28 HP. That's not enough for me. Now she has 35 HP. Much better. You know, she, she got close to Ewan. Ewan got a lot of HP growths. Yeah, now Larishel has 35 HP. Her skill hasn't been really growing lately. It's at 15. 17 is much better. And I'd really like Larishel to have double digit defense. I mean, it's only at nine. Now it's at 11. And that'll do for now. <laughs> She is also going to take a spare Shine Tome that I have for her. Like so. There we go. Another show's ready. Oh yes, Lara Shell got better. So awesome. All right, um, everybody else, I've kind of uh, changed out some of their equipment. Uh, giving them fresh ones if they had mostly broken weapons. Uh, for example, uh, Cormac had a mostly broken Iron Lance at like 16. I sold it and took a 45. Um, 
kind of did that around the board, except for Naomi, who has uh, still a full killer bow. And the iron bow, she's just going to use up until it breaks, pretty much. And Ross, I just gave some axes to. Uh, he has, you see, iron axe. This iron axe almost broken. We're just going to use these up, and also the hatchet. And then we'll give him some fresh equipment after that. So I've kind of planned all that out off screen. We're not done again. This will probably just be an episode of going over the map map and the beginning cutscene so well under the armory inside this armory you do have some really interesting things you have some iron and steel swords uh the lance reaver but you have killing edge here killer lance killer axe killer bow somebody is going to go and buy these for me now i could buy them later easier at chapter 19 but, you know what, the armory's here, I might as well just do it now. I'm not gonna spend all the cash, because of, uh, let's see, after chapter 19, I could buy the killer weapons. Um, because of the secret shop, if you remember, is in chapter 19. I went over that after the first secret shop. And there will be physics staffs there that I'm going to want to buy, at least a couple of. So there's that. Um, I'll probably buy, one to two of each killer weapon because it's fun and we'll end up doing that okay um now for i already went over leon who can be really tricky because of this so watch out anybody that doesn't have a decent res stat is gonna get blitzed by leon he's just gonna have to you know take a huge hit so be very careful um to be honest lair shells probably the, as much as i would love ephraim he only has 14 res i'd love ephraim to fight him because that would be really fitting um i might try to have ephraim get the final blow in somehow anyway um but lair shells gonna fight him because she can she can go toe to toe with leon with her uh, 24 res um, Ewan can, can, can do it as well. He has 24 res. Um, you want somebody with really high resistance to do that. Okay, um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 people you get to take on this map. One of them... It's better if it's Tana. Because here is Serene. The dutiful commander of the 3rd Battalion of Freelius Pegasus Knights. She is a Falcon Knight. Sky, uh, swift Sky Warriors who shrug off magic attacks. They equip swords and lances. This is the upgrade to the Pegasus Knight. The deal with uh, Serene here is she will be an NPC for the entire map. Unless um, she talks to somebody she knows. This can be... Tana has kind of the easiest time getting there because she can just fly up to her. You can also use Ennis. The prince, of course, she'll bow down to her prince. And, of course, the princess. Or also the person she... Uh, she knows is... Uh, Vanessa. Uh, fellow Pegasus Knights. Any three of them can recruit her. Um... If you don't recruit her, she stays an NPC until the end of the map, and then I believe she joins afterwards anyway. But it's better if you have control of Serene. <laughs> she is not great, honestly. It's um, a shame if she's probably the worst out of the three Pegasus Knights, um, in, in my opinion. Her stats aren't great. Um, neither are Vanessa's, but she's level 1. <laughs> she would have 19 levels to grow and try to get some stats. Tana is level 10. She still has 10 levels to grow. And her stats aren't that much worse than Serene's. Um, quite a bit less defense resistance and strength, but... Again, Tana has 10 levels. 
This chapter will be easier on Erica's route for me, because if you've been watching that, you know how Tana is there. So, there's that. That will be fun when we get to Erica's, uh, Erica's chapter 17. Speaking of that, just a quick note, um, these two are the same, I believe, and most of the chapters from here on out, um, the last, the last few chapters we have, we don't have many to go, have about a handful, um, are pretty much the same, no matter whether you have Erica or Ephraim as your main lord. They're pretty much the same when it comes to the maps. So, there's, there's that. So, I'm gonna have to bring somebody to, to talk to Serene. But let's go over Serene. She does have 10 defense, 12 resistance. She has stats kind of like, uh, like Seth had. But you're getting her this late in the game, and that's the problem. You have units that are far, far better than Serene. Um, she is a she is a Falcon Knight, so if none of your flyers ended up well and you want to use a flyer, she'll be serviceable. Um, let's let me put up Serene's stat gross on the screen. She is your typical Pegasus Knight. Okay, Matt-ish HP growth. Lowish strength growth, though 40's not bad. You know, it could be lower. Uh, 50 skill, 60 speed, that's definitely her strong point. Uh, 30 luck, only 20 defense, but 50 resistance. So, lower defense, higher resistance. She's already class changed, so she only has 19 levels to grow. Could she be a good unit? Yeah, she could be okay. My thing is, if she came a little earlier in the game, she'd have a chance. Because she is only level 1. She is class changed, but she's only level 1. You'd have a chance to really uh, see if she's turned into, if she could turn into something. But by this point, you probably have class changed units already that have far better stats. Um, I don't have a, a Falcon Knight to... Uh, to compare her to on again on Erica's route you'll get to see the comparison between Serene and if you get good growths with one of your other Falcon Knights in my case it will be Tana and you'll see the difference in in stats she's okay she's meh but that's about it to me again if you want a flyer and none of your flyers have been have been panning out stat growth wise you can use Serene I like her character, but as a unit, she's, she's meh. You got Seth way back when, and again, Seth's stats are kind of like Serene's are now. Yeah, he has nine more levels, but kind of at the beginning, Seth's stats are, were kind of like this, very balanced, um, but it's just you're getting her so late. Now, in... Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, this game, you have a chance to just take her to the tower, grind her up, and see how good she turns out. So it's not as bad as if it was in another Fire Emblem game where you couldn't do that. In any other Fire Emblem game, she would just be joining too late and you'd probably never use her. In this game, you have a chance to see if she turns into a really good flying unit because you can go grind. She's an okay unit. You know, I can't say she's absolutely terrible. It's just that I feel she shows up late. If she would have switched places with Dussel, and I know that wouldn't make sense, like, story-wise, then we'd really be talking. Because Dussel shows up, and he's got all these... He's got all those levels. He's, like, level 8. And he would be here and be, like, level 8, and he'd have, you know, maybe just give her... Give him, you know, a little bit better stats, and then I think that would have worked better. But anyway, there's my opinion on Serene. She's not a bad unit. She's an okay unit. I just feel like you probably have way better than her now. And her stats aren't super great for being a level 1 class changed unit. They're balanced. They're okay. Um, but nothing, nothing, you know, super special here. She does have a Silver Lance. 
So that's awesome. We get a Silver Lance. And uh, she also has a Javelin for ranged attacks. She has a C rank in swords and A rank in lances. And there you go. There's Serene. I said, I think she's okay. Um, but you probably have better. But we need to talk to her anyway. That way we don't we don't lose her. I don't think she moves. I don't think. But better safe than sorry, and I would like to get her on on the team anyway. Uh, because I do like her character. Um, watch out for reinforcements here. So there's that. Um, and there's going to be reinforcements showing up throughout throughout the map as well. So be uh, be wary of that. The ones I just remember for sure are these. But there will be more reinforcements showing up as well. Okay. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to... I think I'll bring Tana along. So... I'm going to have to leave somebody behind. Probably Seth. I'll leave uh, Seth behind. Bring Tana. That way she can go and recruit Serene for us. And... Other than that, this will be the group that I go with. I'll, I'll go with this group. Ep Ephraim, Larishel, Ross, Amelia, Ewan, Cormag, Arthur, Naomi, Joshua, Franz, Rinak, and Tana. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Till the next episode, I'm Sundray9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.